Hi Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to your daily energy reading, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to your daily energy reading, Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords, Aquarius. So I'm picking up an energy of like, you know, you are dealing with someone that is cannot be trusted with the Seven of Swords next to this Queen of Swords. But I, I feel like you know about this, Aquarius. It's like you are aware that you're dealing with somebody that cannot be trusted. You're dealing with this uh, thief energy here. So with this Queen of Swords next to the Seven of Swords, you are very much aware of this person, this sneaky, sneaky person. This person thought they could be able to like um, manipulate you, lie to you, stab you in the back, steal from you. But you were so quick to catch this person with this Queen of Swords next to the Seven of Swords. You could have also decided to cut this person out of your life because of this kind of energy that they are showing up in here with this Seven of Swords next to the Queen of Swords. This could be a family member, a lover, a friend. It doesn't really matter, but there's an energy of you you are being, you are very much aware of this sneaky energy, this liar, sneaky kind of energy. You could have decided to like cut this person out of your life. You could have also told them off. You could have had like had a conversation with this person, and you were very straightforward about how you felt uh, with this uh, Queen of Swords next to the Seven of Swords. You could have also just decided to go silent, go ghost with this person, not tell them. But being aware that this person is very snaky, like you were able to figure them out very quickly. You could also be dealing with someone that is snaky and sneaky and you, you just know, even if you haven't cut this person out of your life, you are very much aware that this person is not a trustworthy person. It's like you can see the games that they are playing. They are playing with the wrong one, Aquarius, because you are very intelligent. So you are able to catch people playing you like this you're able to catch people doing that and then we have the eight of swords here aquarius someone could be a, a very feeling very anxious and afraid and scared here this person could could be feeling very scared and anxious because they know that you are aware of their sneaky sneaky ways so they are feeling very much afraid with this eight of swords next to the seven of swords this person could also be very scared they're very scared. If this is someone that stole from you, they could also be scared that they, they might go to jail with this uh, Eight of Swords energy here. This person could also be scared that they're going to be held accountable for all the deceitful actions that they portrayed when it comes to you. Uh, you know that even if someone is stealing your time, that is also very conniving. This person could also just be stealing your time, wasting your time. And you are aware of this energy. You are able to see through this person's nonsense. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Something could also be moving very slowly. Things could be going very slowly uh, in your life with this Knight of Pentacles. Money could be coming in slowly with this Knight of Pentacles energy here. But <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles is quite stable energy and very reliable energy. So if, it's, if, if you've started a project and it seems to be moving slowly, take your time because everything is going to work out. The Knight of Pentacles is very dependable energy. It's just detail orientated and it likes to take its time. So something could be taking its time, but it's very stable. There's a stable offer that could be taking its time to come towards you, but it's a very stable, dependable offer. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. And then we have the Ace of Wands. There could be a new beginning here, a new beginning in love, or a new beginning in business, a new beginning in anything. There could be something that is new that is coming towards you at this point with this Ace of Wands here. 
Aquarius. I'm also getting an energy of someone that is feeling uh, very much inspired to come towards you with this Ace of Wands. Feeling inspired to come towards you, having like a brand new beginning with you. You could also be dealing with Leo energy, with the strength. Someone could be holding back with the strength. I'm also getting with the strength underneath the Seven of Swords. This could be this could be somebody that could not be trusted. And I see this Two of Cups underneath your, your deck here. So this could be someone that was not able to, you could not trust this person previously. So this could have been like a partner, a lover. This two of cups here, I feel like it's here to clarify that the seven of swords energy could be someone that you were in partnership with. This person could be holding back. They're feeling very much inspired to come towards you, but they are still holding back. They might not be saying anything, very quiet. Tell me more body story for the angels. And then we have the whole Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius. Someone is also experiencing karma. There's also an energy of change with this Wheel of Fortune energy here. Somebody could be experiencing karma here, Aquarius. I'm also picking up that this person that was very sneaky towards you, and we have this Four of Pentacles underneath the deck here. This is someone that used to hold back from you. Someone that was very sneaky towards you, lied to you, probably put you in third-party situations. It is their karma for them to be in this Eight of Swords energy. They could also be dealing with people that are lying to them right now, stepping them in the bag if they left you. So they're experiencing the similar, they're experiencing similar things that they put you through. This person is going through what they put you through right now. There's an energy of karma, things being balanced out. And if you've been experiencing like problems um, at this point, things are changing with this wheel of fortune. There's an energy of change. You getting your good karma. And then we have the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is like clarifying that this is correct. We have the Ace of Swords here. There could also be some truth that is coming towards you. You could be finding out some truth with regards to a matter here. Something that could also have to do with your finances with this Ace of Swords underneath the Knight of Pentacles. So you could be also getting ideas with this Ace of Swords energy, starting something new, getting very getting getting a lot of ideas. And also mental clarity there could be like a level of like mental clarity with regards to what you're trying to do when it comes to your money with this page of pentacles maybe you're trying to start like a new business or maybe get a new job or something that has to do with your finances and there's a lot of clarity there's a lot of mental clarity and i'm also getting that something could be coming very slowly towards you you could be getting like new opportunities in terms of like your finances or your stability and this offer is coming slowly there's an offer for you that is coming in slowly but it's a very dependable offer it is really coming and it's something that is going to last however it might be coming in quite slowly with this knight of pentacles on top here Let's clarify this energy for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you for all my subscribers, people that subscribe to Patreon. I really appreciate you. I also appreciate my viewers. I know that if you can't subscribe now, I'm sure you'll subscribe in the near future. I appreciate you for just watching my videos, liking and participating, leaving a comment, subscribing to my channel. That really means a lot to me, Aquarius. What is this Queen of Swords energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And then we have the Queen of Cups. You could have decided to give somebody emotions, like you were very loving towards this person. You could also be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this Queen, Queen of Cups. And we also have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with this Queen of Swords. So you are showing a lot of emotions towards this person, very much loving and compassionate towards this person. This person decided to be in the Seven of Swords energy, very sneaky, sneaky energy. But this is someone that you had a lot of love for with this queen of cups you really loved this person aquarius you could have like been you could have um expressed some vulnerabilities to this person as well maybe you had like some childhood trauma that you could have expressed to this person here with this queen of cups i just get that energy of like you being ex super vulnerable dealing with this energy where you are very honest about everything that you have been through and this person took you for granted and then we have the high priestess you could be dealing with pisces you could also be guided to use your intuition you could have also used your intuition dealing with the seven of swords energy so i'm also picking up an energy of like you could have found out you could have actually like realized these things maybe you had a dream about this person doing stuff to you and you were able to cut them out of your life 
So you, your intuition is very sharp at this point and you are able to see through a lot of nonsense. Things are not as they appear. And I'm picking up that you are able to see that things are not as they appear. You, you are able to see the truth. People, are, people can be wearing masks around you, pretending to be something that they are not, misleading you, lying to you, stabbing you in the back. But you are able to see it. You could also be just guided to use your intuition because there's some shady people that are around you. There could also be secrets. Someone could be trying to backstab you, uh, lie to you behind your back with this high priestess Pisces energy here. So you're not able to see it. Clarify this Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Okay, before I clarify the Eight of Swords, I want to find out what that Seven of Swords is. What is that Seven of Swords for Aquarius? The Two of Pentacles wanted to come out. Someone and let it come out, Aquarius. You could be dealing with someone that was juggling you with another with another energy. So this could have been a third party situation. The Queen of Swords is back again here underneath the deck. So I am getting that you are very much aware of this person. Like you know their tricks. This person cannot play you, Aquarius. It's like you know all their tricks and you are able to see through the nonsense that they are bringing. You are able to see, it's like you know that this person was not being honest. So they could have been juggling you with a third party. They could have been seeing another person here. And you were very much, you were made, you were made aware of that. And we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands usually speaks of the other woman because you're an Aquarius, you're an air sign. So you, the Queen of Wands is, is, is um, hardly ever your energy. However, if you're operating in this Queen of Wands energy, you're very confident, deliberate with what you're doing, attractive, attracting a lot of things in your life with this Queen of Wands energy. But I'm just picking up an energy of like dealing with like someone was juggling you, juggling you with a third party in this Queen of Wands energy here. Somebody had a second choice. Somebody has a second choice. It's like there's someone else that they could be dealing with entertaining here. And this could have been kept a secret. And this person could have appeared very sneaky. They were doing this very sneaky, like lying, not being very honest about this person that they're dealing with. And, but you were able to find out. You could have found out that someone was cheating on you. And with this tower energy here, you could have had an ending with this person. Decided to break up, leave this person because you, you were able to see that this person is just not honest. What is the Eight of Swords for Aquarius? And then we have the star. So you could be going through anxiety. So this Eight of Swords could also be your energy where you're going through anxiety, sleepless nights, stressful situations. Where, um, they could, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a fellow Aquarius, someone is going through a lot of like anxiety, sleepless nights, fears. Someone is afraid here. This person is not able to see things clearly. I'm also getting an energy. If this is your energy, Aquarius, where you're going through this Eight of Swords, where you are feeling very stressed out about something, it's like... This is a self-imposed prison. So everything is okay. However, you're not able to see the good that is around you. It's like you're fixated on something that is not there. And that is causing you a lot of anxiety and stress. You need to take off this blindfold. You see this Eight of Swords energy. It's like she's wearing a blindfold. So you need to take off that blindfold so you can be able to see things clearly. With the star energy, there's also healing. So if you've been going through anxiety and stress, there's an energy of healing. With the star the star, star speaks of healing and then we have the seven of swords underneath here so you were dealing with someone that is very sneaky someone that cannot be trusted possibly a thief here someone that stole your time they could have also taken stuff from you like material from you you could have bought this person gifts this person could have also been with you for what they could get from you i'm also getting that you're dealing with someone that could have also uh, decided to entertain you because they they were getting benefits for being for from being with you maybe like you were spending some money on this person you are not able to see things clearly but with the star energy on top of the eight of swords i'm getting that everything is being illuminated to you so you are able to see you're able to see through the nonsense of this person you see we also have the sun here so the sun and the star i'm also i'm seeing an energy of illumination so whatever it is that was hiding for from you that put you in this eight of swords energy where you're not able to see things clearly you are able to see things very clearly right now. So you are in your power, in that Queen of Swords energy where everything just seems very clear. What is that Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius? The Hierophant. So you could have been married in this situation. 
with this hierophant energy you could also be dealing with the taurus there could be something that is coming in very slowly in terms of like a marriage here let's clarify more if um aquarius if you are married you're dealing with someone that likes to move very slowly as well someone is coming towards you very slowly and things could also be moving slowly in the relationship with this hierophant and the moon energy here there's something that you're not seeing if you are somebody that is married there's something that you're not seeing in this connection someone could be lying to you you could be dealing with cancer or pisces with this moon energy here we also have taurus we have aquarius we have leo aries sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio here so and also we have capricorn Virgo, and um taurus with this knight of pentacles so is there something that you're not seeing with pertaining to a marriage here if you're not married this is just a high level of commitment so you could be someone you could be seeing someone exclusively so this could be like an exclusive relationship and there is something that you're not seeing in this person's energy let's clarify holy spirit holy angels and then we have the eight of cups someone could be deciding to walk away from you and you're not seeing this clearly so if you're dealing with somebody that is still in your energy someone could be wanting to walk away from this connection and you're not able to see it clearly or this could be you where you're wanting to walk away from a situation because there's a lot of secrets if you're dealing with someone that lied to you and said they were not married while they were married you could be deciding to walk away from that person you could have discovered that this person was lying and you're wanting to walk away from that person what is the ace of wands for aquarius and then we have a, the ace of cups so there's new brand new beginning in love that is coming towards you this could also be a new person someone that is brand new coming into your energy with this ace of wands and the ace of cups so there's a, a blessing that is coming towards you a very beautiful blessing that you might not be able to see at this point but there's something new that is coming towards you with this ace of cups clarifying the ace of wands so I'm picking up an energy of like a new love, like a soulmate connection that could be coming towards you here. What is the strength energy for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? And then we have the tower. So something ended very suddenly. You could have been dealing with someone that was holding back with this uh, tower on top of the strength energy here. Somebody, you could also be dealing with a Leo with the strength here. The tower is a uh, mass energy, so it could be Aries and it's also, it could also be Scorpio. So you're dealing with somebody here that was holding back and that is coming to an end i'm also picking up an energy of like this person that you're dealing with that used to hold back from you they could be wanting to come back with this tower that energy of holding back could be coming to an end let's clarify more that energy of holding back could be coming to an end so someone could be wanting to come and give you this ten of cups so if there's an energy of somebody from your past that used to hold back from you that is coming to an end this person is no longer wanting to hold back this tower is here to end all that energy of like holding back not saying anything and this person is now realizing that you are their happy ending emotional fulfillment with this ten of cups energy here i'm also picking up an energy of like something could also be coming in very suddenly for you where you will not be expecting it could also be a new person that is coming towards you and you, you will not be expecting it and this person could be coming in with this uh new brand new cup of love and this could be like your soulmate uh, energy with this ten of cups it's like it's, it will make you very happy it's like emotional fulfillment something could have also ended in terms of like a family if you were married here something could be coming to an end it might happen very abruptly where you're not expecting it so please remember that whatever is built on a false foundation is bound to end so the tower it should not scare you and if you're also constantly seeing five 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 i know it's very scary because it speaks of change and the change the change is usually very uncomfortable however it is there to shift something so there's something in your life that is just not that is built on a shaky foundation so it's not helping you in in any way so this could also be causing a lot of destruction in your life and you're struggling to let it go so the tower will be there to come and destroy whatever that is just to lead you towards like the right path so you can go through whatever it is that you are here to do on this planet so the tower don't be afraid of the tower whatever ending comes in your life is necessary that's why the tower is there to remind you that this ending is, is going to happen and it's going to be quite painful sometimes however it is necessary because whatever this is is built on a false foundation so for this to also happen again if you it's somebody that you really want to be with or you want to marry or you want to spend your whole life with everything must be rebuilt again on a proper foundation so it must not be built on a foundation of lies with the seven of swords and 
secrets with this high priestess because the high priestess could also speak of secrets and we also saw the moon energy here where there's things that you're not seeing where someone could also be juggling you with third party inter in energies so the tower could be wanting to end that energy so you can be able to to build again build again build a proper foundation what is the wheel of fortune for aquarius you see aquarius the wheel of fortune is terrified by the fool the fool, something new is coming. You could also be encouraged to take a leap of faith. Someone could be taking a leap of faith towards you. You could be dealing with an Aries with this full energy. So there's a beautiful change that is coming towards you with this fool. You just need to charge, uh, trust the process, trust the universe. Everything is working out for your highest good. Take a leap of faith. Start again from zero. You know, the, the fool is the first card of the tarot and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. You see, it's a zero here. I don't know if you're able to see it. So you might need to start from the start again, you know, rebuild again. Good karma. There's something beautiful that is coming. So you must not worry. If you are required to start again, start afresh, even if you're starting with a, with a past person, whatever it is that you're starting again and starting afresh is built, is going to be built on a proper foundation. So there's good karma that is coming towards you. What is the seven of wands for Aquarius? And then we have the, sorry, um, I meant to say, what is this Ace of Swords for Aquarius? And then we have the Lovers to clarify this Ace of Swords. Aquarius, there's something beautiful, brand new love, a brand new loving relationship. You could also be reuniting with a soulmate twin flame energy here with this Lovers. Someone could also be making a choice to come towards you with this Ace of Swords. This person is having like some epiphanies right now. And this person has some truth. It's like they know that you are their person. And this person is wanting to come towards you with this ace of swords here and the uh, lovers. So someone is making a choice. They know the truth about you now. So they are wanting to come towards you. So I'm also picking up, I did pick up the seven of swords energy before I, I read this energy here. So something could be challenging as well. Something could be a little bit of a challenge. However, whoever this person it is that you are dealing with here, this could be a past person, a new person. This person is aware that you are their soulmate. There's a new, we have three aces here. We have the ace of cups, the ace of wands, and the ace of swords. So there's a new, brand new beginning in love, Aquarius. With this lovers, you could also be dealing with a Gemini. Someone is making a choice to come towards you. It's like this person knows that you are there. You are the right person for them. You could have had challenges with this person in the past with the seven of wands energy here. And then we have the knight of wands. Someone could be wanting to come towards you very quickly. You could also be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this knight of wands. This person has a lot of attraction towards you. The knight of wands tends to just want to come for like, you know, a good time and not a long time. So be careful of this energy. If there's an, someone that is coming towards you and they are wanting to be physical quickly, they are not really wanting to, to take things slowly. So this could be that energy. This could also imply that whoever it is that wants to come towards you is very determined. Because the Knight of Wands is very determined, he's very brave, he goes very quickly. He has a lot of passion. This person could also just find you very attractive. So it doesn't mean that this person is wanting to be in and out. Just use discernment, use your intuition. You will know who this person is. You will know if they are coming with good intentions or not. You know, people are always showing us who they are. We just choose to ignore the red flags because we're always having these ideas. We form ideas of the people that we're dealing with in our heads. And we ignore what they are showing us. So pay attention to what people show you. Pay attention to your intuition. Don't like build a story in your head. See things for what they are. You're an S sign. Be in this energy of the Ace of Swords where you are very mentally clear. See things exactly as they are. Don't be building ideas and fantasies around people. Believe people as they show you. And if you want a personal reading, Aquarius, get a personal reading. If you did uh, request a personal reading, I got some purchases of personal readings. However, uh, I didn't get questions. If you are one of the people that is you are watching now and you didn't uh, give me the questions, please kindly send me 10 questions so I can be able to give you your personal reading. So if you purchase a personal reading, as soon as you're done, email me your questions so I can do your personal reading as soon as possible. And we have the Two of Cups energy here underneath here. So I'm picking up an energy of like heavy soulmate, twin flame kind of energy. This could be your, like your, your, your divine counterpart. I don't know if it's the same person that is... Um, showing up here in the seven of swords this person could have been in this energy in the past where they were very sneaky because we do have the seven of swords energy here that is showing up there's somebody that is third party third party interferences and this could also be a secret 
So pay attention, Aquarius. So this could be someone that is wanting to change, you know, wanting to change. And we do have this wheel of fortune and the fool here. Somebody could have like had a change of heart. They changed the way they are and they are wanting a second chance. So this person could be wanting to change and be better and want to start again. Let's start. Let's go back to the start. Let's start this whole thing again. Let's build it again on a proper foundation with this page of pen pentacles. Let's have something that is more stable, a very stable new beginning that you could be having with this person. So for you to get like a proper reading, get a personal reading if that's what you want. Um, if you can, you should just get a personal reading. I'll be able to answer all your questions. I sell the personal readings on Patreon. So you just like follow the link to my Patreon and you purchase one personal reading. As soon as you get your reading, you just cancel the, the, the subscription. So you don't have to get charged every month because unless you want a personal reading once a month. But if you just want it once off, as soon as you get your reading, you are free to cancel the subscription. It's just once off $40 for a personal reading. So let's get more information about this connection, Aquarius. Let's get some messages about this connection. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us more about this connection for Aquarius. If you want an extended version of this reading, it's going to be available on Patreon. So just click the link on my description box that will redirect you to Patreon. Extended readings are $5. You pay $5 once and every time I post the reading, you get the extended on Patreon for $5. So I, the reason why I, I, I'm doing this uh, Patreon thing is not out of greed. I thought I should explain this. It's not out of greed. I'm just trying to pour into my channel. So I want to be able to get a camera and better lighting because I really enjoy doing this for you, Aquarius. And I want to give you proper quality content so for my content to improve improve i need like a better camera and better lighting so i don't have to post things from my phone so that's the reason why i started the patreon so let's get messages for you from this person we have new love and past lives here a new chapter begins whether it is with a new partner or in a current relationship so there's new love that is coming to you aquarius this could be a past person and this could also be a new person that you are meeting this could be someone new that you're meeting because we also have past lives here please remember that i'm reading for multiple people so someone could be meeting somebody from their past and someone could be meeting like a new person here with this past lives energy here you have known this person before it is a soulmate from a past lifetime so even if you don't know this person from this lifetime this could be like a past life connection your soulmate from a past life connection tell us more holy spirit about this energy and then we have a twin flame so you could be dealing with a twin flame here you could be dealing with a twin flame energy here I don't know if you're able to see it because my lighting is usually very bad. This person is your mirror soul. This is why the connection feels so sacred to you. So this is like a twin flame connection. And you know, another thing that will clarify that this could be a twin flame connection. The fact that if you're dealing with someone that was showing you like coming in that seven of swords energy and they could have went to go do some work on themselves and you could have decided to cut that person off when they were coming in that seven of swords energy. And this person could have went to go work on themselves to come correctly. And now they're wanting to change. That could show that you're dealing with a twin flame who wants to come and be better because they, they can't live without you. They need to be around you. So this person could have known. It's like you, you, you made them become the greatest version of themselves. Losing you made them see that they need to better themselves. They need to become, they need to come correct. They need to work on themselves. So you deserve the best. When they come to you, they can be able to give you the best. Tell us more. Keep the door open and be present. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you. Don't be too focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones that are open for you. So there could also be new people that are trying to come into your life and you're not, you're not able to see it. Be present. You will attract love. love sorry. Be present. You will attract love by enjoying your life as it is, wherever you are. Be all day. So let's find out the challenges. And we also have to pay attention to signs, the synchronicities you have been noticing are 
not a coincidence so i want to find out who this person is aquarius and what are the challenges in this connection why what happened if you know what is happening also in this person's life currently and how are they seeing you and what are their future actions when it comes to you we'll also try to get a time frame on when they will be coming back to you so if you want to get all that information let's go to patreon it's only five dollars you pay once off and then you'll be able to have access to all the extra readings and all the extended readings that i do for the whole month so it's five dollars one once off so let's go to patreon aquarius don't forget to like and subscribe i love you if you're not able to go to patreon i completely understand a like is perfectly fine thank you aquarius